Hi, this is a sensitivity analysis tutorial made by the TAs of Decision Analysis at Stanford University. Here, I'm going to create a new Excel sheet and show this in the context of a deal. So let's say your decision is either to take a deal or not to take a deal. And what is the deal? Let's use the same example that Professor Howard used in class which is a 50-50 shot of winning $100 or losing $50. Now, for risk-neutral people, immediately you can see that this is a good deal. You just take it because the, the E-value is $25. It's above zero. What about risk-averse people? So let's set the risk tolerance of a risk-averse person to be $1,000. We can calculate the risk aversion coefficient as 1 over 1,000. This is not a currency, so I'm going to set this as a number there. And let's call this cell gamma. And let's set the tool up to use gamma. So the CE has now dropped to below $25. I'm just going to format this as a currency. Now, I'd be interested to know at what point would a risk-averse person not take this deal? So how risk-averse would you need to be? So let's set the risk tolerance as the input cell. And let's take this down to a couple of values. Let's try up to this. This should be sufficient. And let's look at the CE of taking the deal, which is this amount here. Now, I'm going to use a very powerful tool that Excel provides us, which is the data table. So I'm going to highlight this whole table, including the label, risk tolerance. And I'm going to select data table. Now, as a column input cell, I'm going to provide the cell to which all of this left-hand column is going to be sent as input. And that would be the risk tolerance. And here, what Excel is going to do is it's going to plug in each of these values into the cell, get the output values from this because of this formula, and replicate it for each row like this. Now, I'm going to set this to $1 because we don't want a division by zero error here. That's natural because gamma would be 1 over risk tolerance. Now that we have the results, let me just put them in a nice box. Let me color the whole sheet up. And to make the results a little more intuitive, I am going to format them. So I can conditionally format this. So whenever the cell is greater than or equal to zero, let's make it green, which means you'll take the deal. And whenever the cell is less than zero, let's make it red means you won't take the deal. Aha, uh -huh. so you'd have to have a risk tolerance of $100 or lower to reject the deal. Now, that's kind of crazy for anybody to have such a low risk tolerance. Um, we can plot this. By the way, you could have such a risk tolerance. It's just that it still sounds a little crazy, but technically that's okay. It's just that most people tend to have a higher risk tolerance than that. Uh, so this is a sensitivity analysis, sensitivity to risk tolerance. And on the x-axis, we have risk tolerance rho in dollars. On the y-axis, we have CE of taking the deal. And this is also in, in dollars. There it is. Let's just make it visually more appealing. Let's send it here doesn't have to be this big. There. And let's remove the border. There. Here is a little sensitivity analysis example. We have shown sensitivity to risk tolerance. And again, here from the diagram, we can see that you'd have to be pretty low in your risk tolerance to have to reject this deal. Most of the time, as long as you're above this point here, you would accept the deal. Um, so that's that's it for our example. Thank you so much for watching and good luck with your sensitivity analyses.